Nestled in the heart of Northern Europe and known for its captivating history, breathtaking landscapes and remarkable quality of life, Denmark is a nation that truly leaves a lasting impression. The nation's capital sits just two hours north of the rugby circuit and beyond its fairy tale like castles, cobblestone streets and colourful waterfront houses, Copenhagen is known as a true haven for motorsport enthusiasts. With a deep-rooted passion for speed and a track record of producing world-class drivers, the city breathes motorsport in every corner. The nation has made substantial investments in wind power and has successfully transitioned to being one of the world's greenest countries. And no better place proves this point than the rugby karting ring. Surrounded by wind turbines, the track was rebuilt just five years ago to make way for the immense new tunnel project to connect Denmark to Germany. It's another magnificent circuit that's been added to the calendar for 2023. A cathedral of speed and wonder, the 12,000 metre circuit has proven to be a worthy adversary to mark the halfway point of the season. With high levels of complexity, the rugby karting ring has certainly provided close action with many overtaking opportunities around the layout, giving every driver an opportunity to fight at the front of the field. But with challenging braking zones, this circuit bites back. One foot off the racing line and your race could be over. The championship couldn't be closer with just a handful of points separating the top drivers going into the halfway point of the season for both OK and OKJ. It's still anyone's to win in 2023. Junior OK is 11 to 14 years old. The smaller version of the OK engines, but still 125 with the approximate 30 brake horsepower. The Vega tyres being used and P1 fuels providing everything the drivers need to get going out on circuit. A look at the championship going into this one. Lewis Werrell leads it going into the final. He's extended it 125 championship points to Belgium's Timo Ramakers. Zach Drummond sits third in the championship standings from Stepan Antonov and Alfie Slater. But that could all change as they net go into this next race. Vivek Kanthan starting it on pole position. What a weekend it has been for him. Everyone down into the tram lines we go. Lights go out. Great start from the front row. And Drummond crucially gets the jump on Canton. The inside line works as three carts off straight away. And that Ramikers. looks like Timo Ramikus is one of them. As all the carts they go into the media pen there. That luckily the cameramen all avoid uh, getting hit by a car. But three carts off. That was an absolute disaster. Disa oh, there's more carts off. There's several carts off at turn one. This is a huge disaster. Look at all of that. Oh, that's immense damage. Uh, who have we got? Louis Cochet is off the track. Tiziana Monza, Ramakers, Ethan Lennon is off the track. Uh, Kose Guma and uh, Bondarev. Bondarev's off the track as well. This is a huge disaster from that mid-pack, but that's allowed the rest of the field to break away now. Let's see what happens. He yeah. had a look at it already, but... Didn't. And now he goes in for it. Yep, the two Swedes side by side as they then battle their way through that infield section. And you can see there Kinmark saying, come on, let's go, let's fight. Uh, Filippo Sala, actually, who's gone off. It's one of the Sodis that's off the track. Filippo Sala is out of this race. What a disaster. He had such a good running. Here's a replay. Looking up in the uh, top left, you can see... There's the Koenigan and Sala, but oh, I wonder what straight, happened. Straight off the track and into the barrier. So that car must have... He got going. As look at that. That gap has certainly come down now, and Werra can see it, and he, now he goes to the move on Canthon, retakes third place. As Werrell has made the move now. Oh, yes, indeed. Lewis Well has got past Nekopo Martinese. Can he do the same in this final? But Werrell's going to dive it down the inside through turn three, and he makes it look easy there on Drummond. Drummond not able to defend it, and he slots in right behind, but now... Keep an eye on Drummond because he will instantly fight back as Werrell immediately goes on the defence. Now Vivek Canton's right there. Canton hits the curve. He's going to go for the switch back here on Drummond. Contact between the two of them. The two teammates nearly collide into each other. Martinez is close back in as well. It's now a four-cart race to the end. It's now a five-cart race because Antonov has latched onto the back of them as well. Here we go. Down the inside goes Vivek Canton on his teammate. Now Martinez goes to the outside. And Drummond holds on to it. And now, Kinmark is there as well. Yeah, Kinmark, Soleil as well. And also Limblom also involved in this one as Martinez they go side by side with Drummond. And Drummond here is going to have to try and defend it the same. Soleil looks to the inside of him. Can't quite do it and he slots back into place. 
out of the corner more down the start finish straight but it's not worked out for him because down the inside goes Stepan Antonov and moves up into second place Canthan not able to defend it this battle though for second place as Canthan does make the move dies down the inside through turn number five and gets it done Antonov is going to try and fight back, but he can't quite do it through turn number seven. He's going to be careful here because Martinez is closing in as well. Down the inside in towards turn number nine, and Canton holds that inside line, and nothing that Stepan Antonov can do as Martinez dies down the inside, but he's outbreaked himself and he goes off the track, and Drummond might have an opportunity to get another one, and he does. Drummond gets back through, and he might get another one, but Lewis Werrell for the United Kingdom crosses the line, and he takes another 30 championship points. He extends his championship lead now to 155 from Zach Drummond's 113. Werrell goes into the second half of the season, leading by several points after 21 laps of racing. Finishing in third place for the United Kingdom, Zach Drummond. Finishing in second place for the U USA, Vivek Kanthan. And finally, your race winner, Lewis Werrell. Lewis, well, what a result that was. It looked like a tough weekend. The heats didn't go all your way with a chain breaking, but you've certainly come through in the final. Uh, yeah, it was um, a mixed weekend, shall we say. Uh, and the heats weren't brilliant. Uh, we ended up fifth after the heat. Uh, ninth after the heats, started the super heat fifth, had the new tyres, finished that second, and then started the final on P5. Uh, definitely knew I could win with the speed I've got, and I got into the lead, and I just pulled away. You extend your championship lead now by several points. You go into the second half of the season with, I think, 155 championship points now. How does that feel? Do you feel confident that you could come away with a championship this year? Yeah, uh, I mean, I can't, I can't thank my team enough for what they've, uh, what, they, what we've achieved so far this year. Um, Jamie, Dean, Luca, and Matt Chuck engines and uh, X3 chassis. The senior category, 14 years plus in this one, 125cc unrestricted OK engine, approximately 40 brake horsepower using the MG tyres this weekend and of course providing the fuel P1 throughout the entire weekend. Now Powell leads it going into this final, 153 championship points from Gabriel Gomez is 124. Naka Roberts, who was leading going into this weekend, drops down to third in the championship with 118 points. So let's find out as drivers get themselves ready to get going. Into the tram lines, the revs raise. Final time is go, and it's a great start from the two of them as Gomez holds the inside line. But look at that coming through as a spin, and off the track goes some of the chaos. And Straubert. It is Straubert who's off the track. And Eich is it Eichmann's as well? I think so. We'll find out as they go through the next timing beam who has not come through. But crucially, at the start of that one, Gomez holds on to the race lead. Powell's still there in second. Joe Turney still there in third as they sort themselves out. Turney going for the move here on Powell, and Powell has to concede it through turn number six into the braking zone of turn seven and off the track and running. And that is a disaster for yeah, it's Straubin who's off the track and he's not kept going and that is a disaster. There's another car off as well just outside the commentary box window and it's the 244 that's gone around. Uh, Jan Pusherowski, oh. Three tenths of a second and oh, off Dubnitsky. the track. Oh, Dubnitsky as well. He's had a terrible finals day that today. Disaster in his super heat. He manages to get through into the final, but now the final all goes wrong as well. Oh, but look where Key Nakamura Berta is. And that's David Walter. Uh, Walter's out as well. What is going on in this final? He's got a problem with his airbox by the looks of it, as he's trying to reconnect it. Another disaster. David Walter, his mechanics coming over to see if he needs a tool, and he runs back. 
Alex Powell, though, right on his rear bumper. Powell, dominant performance this weekend. A solid drive all weekend. And he looks like he's going to go for the move here into the final corner, and he does. Down the inside, through the final corner. That is crucial, though, because Naka Roberta is going to have the best run here. He's going to get the slipstream between the two of them. And Turney now down into P3. Through they go in towards turn eight, down into the hairpin of turn nine, and he looks to the inside, down the inside through turn nine, using that banking to his advantage, and sweeps past Joe Turney, who himself did a fantastic overtake around the outside in his superheat earlier on this weekend. We might see that move again going into this final. Sitting in P5 is latching onto the back as Tarvanichkal dives down the inside of Morgato. Yes, indeed. He looks very, very happy out there. Cool, calm, collected is down the inside now. Samalisto gets the move done. And he moves up past Mateus Morgato. Morgato now under pressure from Vinevsky, who's going to go for the move here. And he does get the move here through turn number five. And Gomez here just controlling the pace as he goes through in towards turn number three. A nice, fast lap on that last one. 50.0, his fastest 49.9. And straight, uh, straight again, just throws in a purple sector one. Yeah, exactly. He is quite literally in the zone here, is Gabriel Gomez. And Turney back down the inside. So Joe Turney goes back down the inside of Nakaru Roberta, moves up into third place. Oh dear. Ooh, Joe Turney. Oh no, Joe Turney, who was sitting in third place, has stopped at the side of the circuit. What a disaster. His best qualifying result this weekend ends with a breakdown in the final. He will not get the chance to win his third final of the season. And this will go down as one of the better but worst weekends he's had. There he is, it just and it just stops. It just stops, and that is just heartbreaking for the British driver. But he's got a long way to go in this one, and down the inside goes Tarvan Ichkel and Poulain. You saw him go for the move, and then had to avoid to stop any collisions, and now Kutskov has latched onto the back bumper as they go in towards turn number one. And my goodness, how on earth did Boulain hold on to that one? Because down the inside now goes Kutskov and gets it done. Boulain losing two positions in the space of two corners. Gabriel Gomez for Brazil comes out of the final corner for CRG. Round three is done and dusted for the Brazilian. He wins round three at Rodby in the Champions of the Future. Gabriel Gomez by 1.3 seconds at the end takes the win and he will extend his lead into the championship. 154 points from Powell's 179. He eats another gap out of Powell's lead as they go to Cremona in Italy next. What is gonna happen in this championship? Gabriel Gomez takes the win for CRG from Alex Powell, Kian Nakaroberta, Enzo Tarvanichkal, Kril Kutzkov, Atapu Lane, Lucas Amalisto, and Gustav Vinevsky, Mateus Morgato, and Jules Caranta finishing in the top 10. In third place, for the Prima Racing team, a huge round of applause for Kian Nakamura Berta! Second place as well, a driver who also dominated the weekend, but not in the final for Prima Racing, it's Alex Powell! And your race winner for CRG, another brilliant weekend, Gabriel Gomez! What a weekend that was. We were all worried about uh, Alex's pace over the course of this weekend. We wondered who was going to beat him. Yourself, it came through. Gabriel Gomez, what a drive, what a weekend. Yeah, yeah, we do a great week. Uh, we were missing a little bit in the last days, but we work a little bit more for today to find the, the gap Paul, Paul have. Mm. He was a little bit faster than us. He have a little bit of gap, but today we work a lot to do. And we do. I do the perfect start, and then later was only my pace, 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 zero mistakes, and then 
do a brilliant victory. Yeah. You move up second into the championship. Now you eke a little bit more of a gap out of Alex Powell's lead. Going into the second half of the season, do you feel confident that you could take this one? I think we are good in the championship now. Only in the first round in Valencia we miss a little bit. But the next two rounds we do a really good job. And now we will try to get Powell in the lead. Cremona's next. Are you looking forward to the track? Are you uh, familiar with the layout? Yes, I like the track. It's a little bit difficult with the asphalt. We struggle a little bit in the start, but we work to this. And then now we, we look in the European in two weeks. Round three at Rodby is finally over, and what a weekend it has been. Denmark's been beautiful, the track's been beautiful, the weather has been beautiful. Vera Vitanen, what a weekend. What can you take away from this? Many close tights, many uh, hit winners, and the championship looks really tight at the moment. It does. Now we've hit the halfway mark, it certainly is going to be interesting, but plenty is yet to happen. Two more rounds to go. Italy's next. Are you a fan of Italy? Yeah, I always like Italy. Italy's always nice. Good food, good weather. I'm looking forward to it as well. Cremona is coming up in a few weeks' time. Make sure you don't miss it.